Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Stefan, and today we're gonna to discuss how earthing, by how connecting yourself to the planet, aids and benefits your metabolism, the life-sustaining reactions that keep you going, and by how earthing, at its simplest, just putting your bare feet on the ground can help you to lose weight, improve your lean body mass to body weight ratio, to overall aid in your heat generation to stay warm and to just in general benefit your different metabolic systems whether this is fat metabolism carb metabolism have more energy throughout the day stamina and endurance and to improve your overall cellular environment so you just are more healthy and radiant from the deep core level of your biology so earthing helps with all this because it changes the electromagnetic environment of your body at the foundation and that is where metabolism lies metabolism at its core is the life-sustaining reactions that keep you going every cell has many 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 different chemical reactions that happen at any moment there are different enzymes there are different receptors that sit on the cell membrane there's different chemical reactions that happen within the cell in the cytoplasm by the different organelles and so one cell has many, many, many chemical reactions happening every single second. And then of course you can think about how the body is made up of trillions of cells and therefore there are trillions and trillions and trillions of chemical reactions happening every single moment. If we take the microbiome into account, which best estimates are that there are 10 times more uh, microorganisms living inside of us than there are our own human cells, then you can see how we are a metabolic machine. And at the core, it's the chemical reactions that determine our metabolism. Now you can go one step up to mitochondria, and we will in a second, but before that, let's be aware of the fact that electromagnetism is the dominant force at the scale of the atom, at the scale of the molecule, and at the cell. Gravity isn't really in effect, and the strong and the weak nuclear forces are really only in effect within the nucleus of an atom. So electromagnetism is the dominant force that governs chemical reactions and heat transfer and the movement of things throughout your body. And it's really something that we still don't know a lot about, but we know that it is the main governing force at play. So when you are grounding, when you are outside connecting to the earth, the earth has a negative electric potential. It is a store of free electrons. These are stimulated by the movement of the sun over the planet, and these electrons vibrate and they have an energy to them. Now your body also has free electrons within it. And if you are deficient in free electrons, then you can have health and wellness problems. You can have high free radical activity. This can re result in like inflammation, autoimmune issues, uh, just in general chronic disease. So by connecting to the electromagnetic potential of the earth and spending time out here earthing and grounding away from the artificial man-made electropollution, then you overall improve the electromagnetic potentials of your body and you are changing those electromagnetic fields at the core of your being. So electromagnetism is a force. It's a force of nature. It's a potential force. Just like you can have gravity and you can have a stone sitting up on a ledge and it can fall and release that energy. It's the same with electromagnetism. So if you build up these really large electromagnetic charges in your body, it can cause errant energy flows and currents and movements in your body that aren't uh, for your best benefit. But by earthing, you normalize your activity, you stabilize it, you get your circadian rhythm in phase with the natural energies of the earth, you become in phase with the earth energies. This is the magnetic field, the Schumann resonances, the very low frequency magnetosphere field pulsations, and much, much more. Then you overall improve your metabolic environment as a result because we evolved in these fields. So to earth, you simply just go outside, put your feet, put them on the ground, you don't have to go barefoot. You can also just sit out here and really just enmesh, enmesh yourself. Natural fibers are best if you're gonna be sitting down because they are more conductive than let's say polyester, which is made out of plastic. You can also just lay out on the ground, meditate out here, run around, have fun, 
just the keys to go outside and to get away from the artificial power grid and cellular signals and all that. I'm filming from Iceland right now at this geothermal field because I feel like it's a really good uh, metaphor for metabolism and how this energy from the core and the mantle of the earth is rising up here and this heat is being released. And that's the same with your metabolism. By altering the electromagnetic environment at the foundation of your bioelectricity, you're improving the energy generation at your core. And then that can radiate out and improve a whole bunch of things. So for example, you might find yourself, if you do uh, practice earthing more often, you may find yourself warmer more often. You can tolerate uh, temperature extremes easier. I know that since I've started earthing, cold therapy, like plunging into a cold pool has been very easy. It's actually pretty cold out here right now. The wind is blowing, it's Iceland. Uh, even though it's the summer, it's like maybe nine centigrade. I'm right on the ocean here, uh, but I'm actually pretty warm right now because I do this stuff all the time. Earthing helps you to build that internal life force energy heat all the way in your base. You can think also of like your root chakra and then it helps to rise up through your body. Now by improving the cellular reactions that happen every single second, this also uh, moves into things like your mitochondria. This improves your mitochondrial efficiency. And just FYI, not a lot of science has been done on this yet. Uh, a lot of science has been done on earthing and looking at things like, uh, let's say, your inflammation and your circadian rhythm. Earthing has been shown to improve your cortisol response throughout the day, so it normalizes your cortisol rhythm. And cortisol is the main hormone for your metabolism. It's one of the main hormones for that. So that's a clear indication that earthing helps with your metabolism. But in regards to talking about, oh, earthing helps specifically with mitochondrial function, that's me kind of putting two puzzle pieces together. Um, that we have evidence for this, we have evidence for that, of course, you know, it makes sense that that's probably what happens. And I'm also speaking from personal experience. I've been earthing now for a couple of years, uh, like religiously, and I've been earthing since I was a kid because I go outside all the time. And I have to say that since I started earthing, I was already fairly lean. My body fat level was maybe 10, 12%, probably more in the 11 to 12% range. And now I hover around eight to 9% uh, pretty easily and I have better energy and I'm let's say warmer throughout the day but also can tolerate heat. I'm just a more anti-fragile person now as a result of the earthing. I have lower inflammation, better hormone production. That's one of the other things that earthing helps with and this ties into metabolism. Your metabolism, your hormones are intricately connected. So earthing improves all these things and Earthing is a very easy way to aid in weight loss. If you have extra uh, body fat, then earthing will, I find, just naturally help to kind of reduce and take some of that off your body. By improving your energy metabolism, there's less waste and more efficiency. So your body doesn't need these large storage reservoirs. It can work with less and less and less. And as you lower your body fat levels and get used to connecting to the earth. And by being in natural environments, they may fluctuate in temperature and they're as a result doing a little bit of cold therapy at times, especially if you do earthing in, in the winter, then you also stimulate the production of brown fat, which is very metabolically active. Brown fat is one of the keys to having a good metabolism. A lot of people will, let's say, do a ketogenic diet where they're eating a lot of fat, some protein, very minimal carbs, because they're having, let's say, inflammation problems, gut health problems, uh, uh, brain fog issues, and then as a result of eating exclusively fat, they start to produce ketones and then they get really good at fat metabolism. But you don't necessarily need to go into ketosis to improve your fat metabolism. You can simply just uh, stimulate fat metabolism in ways like, um, let's say, earthing. Earthing by improving your overall metabolic environment can help stimulate uh, fat metabolism, so you utilize fat more efficiently and by improving your digestive um, function, your bile production will be better. That helps you with the absorption of fat. And then by creating brown fat and by stimulating brown fat, by turning white fat and beige fat, which is kind of in the middle, into brown fat, that improves your overall metabolism, heat generation, and just your overall energy throughout the day. Your body doesn't need as much of a, let's say, large reservoir of 
dormant energy uh, because it's kind of fearful what may happen. It's confident that you're getting food every day, that you have energy, and that you can turn brown fat on and off at a dime. As a result, be very nimble, be very active, have a lot of movement in your life. So you'll notice with earthing that you also start to move more. You start to uh, just be more active in general. Your basal metabolic rate will go up. Uh, you may find yourself having enough energy to finally actually exercise. One thing is uh, a lot of people are at a point with, uh, let's say, chronic disease or their weight or just their chronic fatigue that they're like, I just don't have the energy to exercise. And that's totally understandable. If you physically don't have the energy to do that and you need to keep your energy up here, this takes 20% of your calories every day, then that is your rate limiting factor. But by going outside and simply just putting your feet on the ground, hanging out, um, you can just simply lay out and take a nap. That's one of the best ways to earth. You can also practice earthing while you sleep. There's a variety of ways to do that. I have videos on that. Um, then that can be what helps you get to that point where you can start to improve your exercise habits, your wellness habits. You can walk more. You can start to maybe practice yoga, stretching, uh, all those things. So I find earthing very, very powerful uh, of a method for improving your overall health and wellness and specifically for improving your metabolism because by working with your bioelectricity at the base, by improving the overall electromagnetic efficiency of these reactions, these enzymatic reactions, these receptor bindings, um, molecule movement and flow, all these things in your body, you have more energy at your disposal for every calorie that you're bringing in. And then as a result, you have more cognitive energy. You have more energy for movement and activity. Uh, you have more energy for your ojas, if you're aware of those. This is like your orc field. So I wanted to share that. I wanted to share it to you from beautiful Iceland here because this really encapsulates metabolism at the core. And this is an earth environment. So it's really quite perfect and fitting. If you like the video, please click that like button, show your support, subscribe if you wanna watch more videos like this. I have videos on earthing, on electromagnetism and health and wellness, Shuma residences, space weather, a whole bunch of stuff. So there's some more videos here as well that you can watch and I hope you check those out. Have a great day and I'll see you around. Ciao.